like this part of the show. So after three, one, two, three, start clapping.
a stump, I lick your face. <laughs> and when are we going to get a monarchy to reflect the multicultural society we live in today? Not while this queen's alive. Any sniff of non-white blood in the family and things hit a brick wall. <laughs> Sorry about that rant. My friend said to me, Sarah, holding a grudge is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's a bit strong. With me it's more like Botox. It's going to cause them a bit of pain and wipe the smile off their face. I tracked down the girl that bullied me at school with the help of Friends Reunited. It's oldie but goodie. Um, I went to her house and I thought, mm, horse head on the pillow, possibly overdoing it. So I did a poo <laughs> in her hanging basket. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I did get caught and cautioned for that. Um, nosy neighbour not only got my licence plate, but told the police the perpetrator had a distinctive tattoo of a space hopper. <laughs> My grandma was good for her age, actually. She, she keeps beating me at Scrabble. So the last time we played, I spiked her tea. It was fab. Not only did I win, I found out she knew the word titwank. <laughs> I did regret it, though. She started crying, and then she said, Your granddad used to love them! <laughs> Grandma's obviously had a better sex life than I have. And for that, I blame my dad. <laughs> you see, he's Irish Catholic, and he decided to have the birds and bees conversation with me and my sister when we were just six and seven years old. He sat us down and he said, Girls, you have holes. <laughs> Let's call them caves. <laughs> now, boys love exploring caves. <laughs> and they will say anything to get into one. But I'll tell you girls a little secret. Boys have an extra nose between their legs. <laughs> And like Pinocchio's, when they tell lies, <laughs> it grows. <laughs> Handy bit of information that's been over the years. So, if a boy comes to you with a long nose, don't let him in your cave. <laughs> Otherwise, the devil will come and take you down. Unorthodox, but very effective. <laughs> My sister didn't have sex until she was 30, and I became a cave explorer. <laughs> my dad's fault gay but it doesn't help if every time you see an erect willy all you can think about is a little wooden puppet <laughs> first time i went with a boy stephen griffin he's standing proud he would even put barry white on the stereo <laughs> i've heard people say that too much of anything is bad for you baby but i don't know about that all i heard I got no strings, so hold me down. <laughs> it did backfire on Dad, though, because uh, I was the only child, as far as I know, that was banned by the Catholic Church from altar serving for inappropriately touching a priest. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Father Michael had his hands full. 
And he asked me to scratch his nose. <laughs>